Choosing between Audacity and Adobe Audition can be challenging for many beginners. In this video, I've broken down the key points to help you decide which tool is right for you. If you'd like to explore this topic further, I've also published a detailed article on my blog. I highly recommend reading it, it'll help you reflect on your needs and determine if the solution makes sense for your situation. You will find the article link in the description. If you've been following my YouTube channel Master Editor, it's became popular because of Audacity tutorials. Audacity is a fantastic free tool and it's great for beginners. It works well for basic audio editing, audiobooks, podcasts, and voiceovers. But as your skills grow, you might wonder. Should I learn Adobe Audition? What benefits do I get if I switch? The answer depends on your needs and goals. Audacity works well for casual or hobbyist projects, but it has limitations. Adobe Audition, on the other hand, is a professional-grade tool that offers more stability, features, and flexibility. Audacity's biggest advantage is that it's free. It's user-friendly, so it's easy for beginners to learn. If you're editing podcasts, audiobooks, or simple voiceovers, Audacity can handle it. However, Audacity has some challenges. The first is its frequent updates. Audacity has been going through a lot of changes recently. Each time a new version is released, you might need to relearn tools or adjust your workflow. If you value consistency and stability, this can get frustrating. Another limitation is how it works with third-party plugins. Many professionals rely on plugins for noise reduction, EQ, and vocal repair. Tools like Waves Clarity VX or Isotope RX are industry standards. Unfortunately, Audacity doesn't always support them. For example, Waves Clarity VX often glitches, and Isotope RX can cause Audacity to crash. This makes it hard to use the tools that professionals depend on every day. There's also the question of perception. If you're auditioning for voiceover work or pitching to clients, they may ask what software you use. Saying you use Audacity, because it's free, can sometimes make you look less serious about your craft. It's not that Audacity isn't capable. It's about how professionals view the tools you use. Most industry experts rely on Adobe Audition, Pro Tools, or Logic Pro. Using these tools signals that you're committed to delivering top-quality work. Why Adobe Audition stands out. Adobe Audition is a professional-grade audio editor designed for high-quality work. It solves many of the issues you might face with Audacity. First, Adobe Audition is far more stable. It works seamlessly with third-party plugins like Waves, Isotope, and FabFilter. You won't have to deal with crashes or glitches, so you can focus on your work without interruptions. The second major advantage is its workflow. The tools are advanced yet intuitive, and the interface has stayed consistent for years. Once you learn Audition, you won't need to keep relearning it every time a new version comes out. Adobe Audition's effects also stand out. Tools like EQ, compression, and noise reduction are powered by better algorithms than Audacity. This means audio processed in Audition sounds more polished compared to Audacity. If you're new to editing, you may not notice this difference right away. But with experience, the higher quality will become clear, and it will matter more for professional work. Another key benefit of Adobe Audition is how it helps you professionally. If you're pitching for voiceover jobs or client projects, mentioning Adobe Audition can make you stand out. It's the same software used by industry professionals, which helps you appear more serious and committed to your craft. Do you need to switch? If you're just starting out or working on casual projects, Audacity might be all you need. It's free, easy to use, and capable of producing solid results. However, if you're aiming for professional audio work, Adobe Audition is worth the investment. Its stability, advanced tools, and seamless plugin support make editing smoother and more efficient. You'll also benefit from a workflow that saves you time in the long run. Switching to Adobe Audition is especially valuable if you're auditioning for voiceover jobs or working with clients. It shows that you're using professional tools, which can give you an edge over competitors. Try Adobe Audition before you decide. If you're not ready to commit, Adobe Audition offers a free trial. I recommend downloading it and spending a couple of hours exploring the tools during this trial period. Try editing one of your projects to see how it compares to Audacity. You'll quickly get a feel for the workflow and features. If you decide to switch, I've created a course that will help you learn Adobe Audition efficiently. The course is designed to get you comfortable with the tools and teach you how to produce professional quality audio step by step. Audacity is a great starting point for anyone new to audio editing. It's free, simple, and effective for basic projects. But as you move toward professional work, Adobe Audition offers significant advantages. It's stable, integrates seamlessly with plugins, and delivers better audio quality. The tools are more advanced, and the consistent interface makes it easy to use long term. 
If you're serious about improving your audio editing skills or working professionally, Adobe Audition is worth considering. Don't let the interface intimidate you, once you practice for a couple of hours, it will feel natural. Take advantage of the free trial and see how Adobe Audition can fit into your workflow. Whether you stick with Audacity or make the switch, remember that great audio is about your skills and commitment to the craft. You just watched a video from my course, Adobe Audition for Beginners. This course is also part of the Adobe Audition bundle. With the bundle, you will also get some pre-built presets to make your sound better in one click. You will also get a professional custom EQ and preset personalized to your voice only. You can take only the course or the bundle at a discounted price. I will put all the links in the description and pinned comment.